Tyler Dorsey poured in 27 points, Dan Brooks added 17, and Plucky Oregon ended Kansas romp through the NCAA tournament with a 74-60 victory Saturday night that gave the Ducks their first Final Four trip in nearly 8 years. Dan Anya's added 12 points for the Ducks, 33-5 who took the lead with 16 minutes left in the first half and never trailed again, giving coach Dana Altman his first trip to the national semifinals. They'll face the winner of Sunday's game between North Carolina and Kentucky in Glendale, Arizona. Player of the Year frontrunner Frank Mason 3 had 21 points in his final game for the Jayhawks, 31-5, who had rolled to the Elite Eight by an average margin of 30 points. But their dream season ended with the thought just 40 minutes from campus on the night, where very little went right. Star freshman Josh Jackson was mired in early foul trouble. Sharp shooting guard Devontae Graham never got on track. And the swagger that the Big 12 champs showed in humiliating Purdue in the Sweet 16 quickly became a distant memory on a night that belonged to the Pac-12 champions. Altman had never been to the Final Four in 13 appearances in the NCAA tournament. And the last time the Ducks were on the big stage, it was 1939 and the first took home the title. Jordan Bell added 11 points, 13 rebounds and 8 blocks for Oregon, while Jackson was held to 10 points for the Jayhawks in what was almost certainly his final college game. The Bells carrying the Ducks to Sprint Center on Saturday passed right by the Power and Life District in downtown Kansas City, where thousands of Jayhawk fans were rallying hours before the tip-off. In other words, they knew they were facing a de facto road game. But the torrid shooting of Brooks, Ennis and Dorsey quickly riled up the small section of Oregon fans while defeating the rest of sold out Sprint Center. And foul trouble that sent Jackson to the bench for much of the first half helped allow the Ducks carve out a comfortable lead. Dorsey finished the half with back-to-back -back three seconds, including a deep bank shot at the buzzer, as the Ducks pressed to their locker room relishing in a 44-33 advantage. They kept right on dancing in the second half, beating the Jayhawks at their own game, getting in the transition, passing up good shots for better ones, and knocking down three-pointers. The Ducks lead swelled to 55-37 when Brooks drilled another shot from the perimeter, creating the kind of hole Kansas has rarely faced. And the frustration was in the Jayhawks' bench was only compounded every time Jackson or Graham tossed up a shot that clanked slowly off the iron, their sense of desperation growing with every squandered opportunity. Jackson didn't score until midway through the second half. Graham was 0 for 6 beyond the arcade. The Jayhawks eventually began to wail into the deficit, doing most of the work at the free throw line, where they were in the bonus with 11 minutes to go. But the Ducks remained pushed down the stretch, answering just enough times to keep the crowd from giving Kansas any extra juice. Once V. McHale Luke scored to make it 64-55, and is answered with a driving basket. When Mikhail Luke buried a three from the corner to make it 66-60 with 2.49 left, Dorsey answered at the other end with another three-pointer as the shot clock expired to give Oregon some breathing room. The Ducks never even bothered with free throws to put the game away. Big picture. Oregon wound up shooting 51% from the field and hit 11 of 25 from beyond the arcade It's the kind of torrid shooting that has derailed the Jayhawks several times this season. Kansas also lost in the regional semifinals a year ago, and the round has quickly become the biggest source of frustration for Jayhawks coach Bell Self. He even alluded to the problems on Friday, saying the round is probably the hardest in the entire tournament. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel. For more videos give like comment and share. Connect with us.